My name is Phoebe Garnsworthy. I'm a spiritual author and meditation teacher. And today I am going to be talking to you about your soul contract. So what is your soul contract and why is it important? What we're going to be talking about is something that I talk in great depth through my book, Align with Soul, which is a life manual filled with spiritual philosophy, rituals, and everything that you need to know about connecting with your intuition, grounding, energy, anything that you need, it's right in this book. And I'm going to explain Soul Contract, which has a whole chapter. So the Soul Contract is a spiritual belief that before you entered your life here in this universe as you, you came up with a series of life lessons that you wanted to encounter and you wanted to overcome in order for your soul to evolve into a new evolution. So it's kind of got two different elements of it. One, it's the belief in reincarnation and it's the belief that as we venture through life, ultimately our soul is transitioning and it's it's evolving into higher planes and, and, and ascending through this energy awareness and, and, and energy transformation. And in order for that transformation to take effect in life, we need to go through struggles and we need to go through certain obstacles. And as you're going through all of these very challenging life lessons, it's helping to shift your perspective on the universe and on your life and on the world around you. Because with each challenge that you overcome, you are growing stronger and more resilient. And often the challenge is asking you to reconnect deeper with yourself. So it's asking you to reconnect with your soul and to connect with the spiritual realm and to, to, to learn how to trust the universe and to really create this unbreakable bond. So as you're going through these life lessons and you're evolving and learning, this is your series of your, your soul contract that you're ticking off. Now, that's the kind of very basic belief. I personally believe that the soul contract evolves further and what happens is your series of life lessons aren't exactly vertical like this and they're not really linear. They're kind of diagonal. So you can jump around and you can go to certain life life lessons and also it comes into like your destiny because if we're thinking that our soul contract is predestined, then does that mean that what happens in our life is already going to happen regardless? So for me, I believe that's yes and no. I believe that you can tick all of these life lessons and you can achieve your desired destiny and your desired destiny is what it is that your soul is craving. This is your ultimate manifestation and what it is that you're magnetically pulled towards. But you can also go down a different path and there's no wrong or right path. You can, you're, you're learning different things from your life lessons and that energy is to, that energy is, is evolving your soul and that's the whole purpose of it. So you may take a different path, but the lesson is going to change you in the same way. So there's no set rules, so to speak, of what your destiny is. There's your ultimate destiny that you want, that you're, that you're working towards. And if this is what you feel in your soul, this is what you want, and you are consciously stepping towards it every step of the way, you're going to receive that destiny. I have no doubt about that. But if you're hesitating, if you're second guessing yourself, if your confidence is, is wavering, you might start taking the other path. And that's not a bad thing. You may end up going back towards what it is that you ultimately want or not. And you're still going to have different life lessons that are helping your soul evolve in a certain way. Now, I also really strongly believe in reincarnation. I have, um, actually, I've got another book where I talk about uh, visiting my past lives, Remember the Witch Within. So you might enjoy that if you're into reincarnation also. But I also, because of this belief, if you your soul doesn't evolve into 
the, the way that you had planned in this life. So your life lessons, you, you have a, a huge series of them and you may not get through all of them and that's fine as well. And whatever's left over, it's going to carry on into the next life. Now, in addition to your soul contract, you can also have karmic debts. You can also connect with other souls from previous lives and you can create um, soul contracts together in this life as well. So that's a whole other tier of the soul contract. You have a soul contract for you personally, and you also have promises that you've made to other souls. So these could be like your soulmates, they could be your twin flames, they could be people who you promised to connect in this life and learn from. And these soul connections may not always be pleasurable. They could have karmic debt connected to it because you have a lesson to learn. So karmic debt is when you have perhaps done something wrong to someone in a previous life or they have done something wrong to you. And then in this life, it's going to even itself out, hopefully. And you're going to have learned and evolved and your relationship is going to to change. Or you're going to just have learned from each other and be at peace with with whatever happened, knowing that it's from a karmic debt previously, and now that's been cleared completely as well. So there's different layers. There's there's soul contracts with individual souls as well, and they can also be within your family. They can be with friends. They can be with acquaintances, or you also have your soul contract of you and your your evolution here. But that is the the core goal at the end of the day it's for your soul to evolve and transform and ascend into greatness and you're constantly moving and transforming and changing and coming back to source energy from where it is that you came from so that's what i believe about soul contracts let me know your thoughts in the comments if you believe in soul contracts and if that and if your belief differs to mine as well which is so fine we can have different thoughts and beliefs in life and if you're interested in this book i'm gonna share a link to it here as well it is a little life manual you're gonna love it it's got so much information about energy and energy healing and using the universal energies around you and most importantly aligning with your soul so I hope you enjoy. Thanks for listening. Bye.